Welcome to Omaha, Nebraska, and the last session presented by Golden Road Brewing. We are here at night seven of the 2020 Olympic Trials. I am not here, folks, so we need someone to take over the show. Is there anyone that can help? Hello? Can anyone help take over the show? Hello? Oh, don't worry, Amy. I can take over. Don't worry. Hi, I'm Cullen Jones, and it has been a wonderful night of racing with so many people making the team. Caleb Dressel, the king of butterfly, taking the number one spot, and uh, Tom Shields taking second. What an amazing race. Katie Ledecky adds the 800 to her, her roster of things that she's doing in Tokyo. And then the surprise of the night, Ryan White won the 200, back, the 200 backstroke. It was an amazing race. Another surprise earlier in the meet was a teenager from Alaska, Lydia Jacoby, taking second in the 100 breaststroke behind Lily King. What a great moment. All right, and I'm here joined by Lydia Jacoby, the 17-year-old phenom. And so, I, uh, first off, second to Lily King. So is she gonna do like one of these to you? You're a teammate. Are you excited about swimming against Lily? Yeah, I'm very excited. I mean, I think it'll be great being teammates with her. We both swim very different races, so it'll be great. Okay, so she'll save the no, no, no to everybody else. I would imagine so, <laughs> but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so l listen, I'm, I'm, I'm ex so excited to hear more about your story, but the first thing, I'm not going to make this whole interview about you being from Alaska, oh, but great. I do have to give credit where credit is due. Mm -hmm. You are the first Alaskan to not only make a final, but more <laughs> importantly, make the team and have the second fastest time in the world. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels great. I um, Alaska swimming has been such a big part of my swimming career, obviously, yeah. but um, we're such a close community just because it's so small. Right. Um, so it's really been great to be able to represent them like I have. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. So, you know, having this extra year and I mean, I don't know how things were in Alaska. I know everyone was shut down, but like <laughs> pools were shutting down and you, you made the Olympic team in yeah. a year where we went through so much. Mm -hmm. What happened in Alaska like you were you were still able to swim I'm not gonna make a snow and ice joke but um, how <laughs> how did you keep up with training well I had to take two months off because of COVID yeah. um, but I was able to move up to Anchorage for a while which about two hours from my house yeah. um, and I trained there all summer and I think just because it's somewhere that I've never lived before so I don't really have um, like friends or activities that I do up there. The swim yeah. team was really like my group. So I really, yeah. that became a bigger part of my life than it ever had been before. Yeah. And then I guess I just carried that through the fall and the spring. So yeah, yeah it worked out really well. Uh, I would say so. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So, uh, okay, so you've been named to the team. There's so many great names out there that you see. Is there anybody that has, I don't know, reached out to you that you may have maybe a Missy Franklin? But I, I don't know. Are you excited about the experience of meeting everyone else? Who has reached out to you? Who are you most excited to, to be teammates with? I'm really excited to be teammates with everyone. I mean, it's so cool that we have such a big, like, junior representation at the meet. I think yep. that's awesome. Absolutely. And then um, having that, to kind of um, have people to go through the same thing that I'm going through. Um, and then also all these people that I've watched my whole life and been inspired by have them be even closer mentors to me throughout this trip. Absolutely. absolutely. So <laughs> is there is there one person in particular that you're like, I, this is my someone who is my idol? No. No. All of them. All right. They're nice. all amazing. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> So I know Tokyo is a bit of a hike for all of us, um, mm -hmm. and we're very excited that you are you are on the team and you are going. Um, what are you uh, most excited to do in Tokyo? If there's much you can do besides being in the room, I don't the know. Food, I like, really see. haven't thought about it a lot. I mean, I was just focused on trials, and then honestly, even now <laughs> that I'm qualified, I've been thinking more about like camp and stuff than I have the actual meet. But um, I'm just excited to be with the team and get to know all these people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we're very excited for you. But um, so are you going when you come back mm -hmm. after you win all the medals? <laughs> um, <laughs> I see I saw a picture online that you're going to a school. Maybe yeah. Texas. Texas. Maybe Austin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about that? I'm so excited. Yeah. I love Mitch and Carol. They're amazing. And I um, just clicked with the school in general, like just all the programs and um, 
the swim team, obviously, and just the city is so cool. So I'm excited. Can't wait. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm happy to see that COVID did not interfere with your ability to swim to swim fast at this meet, clearly. Um, but, you know, when it comes to the Olympics, we have to, you know, kind of as Team USA, we got to find an extra gear. Now, uh -huh. let's, let's dive into that, that, that hundred breast. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel like you have another gear? Yeah, I definitely do. Oh. I, um, one of the roughest parts of my stroke is obviously my pull down and my walls. And I think um, with the coaching that I'll get at the camp and um, all that, I think that'll give me an extra little boost. Um, I also have never trained long course before. We only have <laughs> one long course pool in Alaska and it's never set up for long course. So my long course practice is when I go to like tier meets and all those kind of things. So. Wow. I also heard Jessica Hardy gave you a pair of goggles at one of those meets. <laughs> yeah. She, well, it wasn't, it was actually for USA Swimming Foundation. They sent yeah. her up um, for Swimathon yep. and um, we got to drive her around. We were like her host family or something. And um, so I got to know her quite a bit and we stayed in touch. And yeah, she's definitely one of my biggest inspirations. Ah, I pulled it out of you there. Did, there it did. is. <laughs> <laughs> 17 years old. You have so much. And you just, I mean, broke down the, the whole 100 breaststroke and said there's a lot more that we can expect out of Lydia Jacob. No, Jacoby, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, yeah. I think so. That is awesome. Well, <laughs> Lydia, thank you so much. And this has been a great interview. Uh, go out there and kick some butt. Thank Are you. Excited? You. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm not going to have you talking to the screen and say you're a Tokyo Olympian. We know you're a Tokyo okay. Olympian. And we're wishing you all the best. Go out there <laughs> and uh, support us well. We know you will. Thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Enter a California state of mind. where refreshing beer meets real mangoes. Mango Cart, an award-winning wheat ale from Golden Road Brewing. Once we start swimming, we're in for life. We swim with goals. Let's get it going, come on. With joy. With our community. A community that believes swimmers don't just do something fun. They become something exceptional. New world record! Come, come join, join us here, here, where we love this sport. Well, look who's back. Ah, thank you. You let me take over for a little bit. I was so happy that you could do that. Uh, thank you for letting me. It thank was fun. You. I thank had you. a blast. Thank you. Well, <laughs> let's talk about Miss Alaska. Yes. How is she just sounds so adorable. She's, like, you know, she was like, this is my first interview. I was like, what? Oh. You're, you're amazing at this. You're, you're, she's really good. She's 17 and she's that good. She's, we're going to hear a lot from Miss Lydia. Dang. Gonna I'm going to lock this gig up for a little while because she's going <laughs> to steal it. Hopefully she'll swim for a long time. I really wanted to make the ice joke about, you know, like ice fishing and stuff. How yeah. did you, you, you know, is it because it's so cold? I, I couldn't do that to her. No. I can do it to you. I can talk yeah, you to you about that. You can totally do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so we had the semifinals of the 50 freeze yes. tonight. Yes. Did you get a chance to, because I know being down here, it's, yes. it's a little different. Did you see them? I did get to see okay. the results and, you know, I'm, I'm ex super ecstatic that like uh, you know i was actually sitting here thinking like wow i should be in this i should kind of feel yeah. that feeling and yeah. then caleb going 21 2 this morning was like you know what i'm good yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then a 21 5 tonight is amazing and then um uh, Michael Andrews right behind him. It's going to be a tight race tonight. Uh David yeah. Curtis sneaking in there. Um and then for the ladies the ladies. the ladies. I just got chills because, I mean, right? Abby Weitzel, Simone, we know that she's been talking about being overtrained. Yep. She's third. So she's she's in that shot. Yo. She's got a great lane. She's going to be great for tomorrow. Listen, if you know Simone like I know Simone, yeah. you know that there might have been a little bit that she held back. A uh -huh. few hairs on her knee. She didn't shave exactly. today. Go reshave. Get it right. She get will. Get your hand on the wall. Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> to Isn't it funny to watch races that we were in? Yes. And it like, was so much fun. It's just weird. And I was behind the blocks because I was up on deck. Yeah. And I literally, my heart started pounding. Like, did, my Apple Watch is going to go nuts. Do you find yourself holding your breath? Yes. <laughs> I did. I held my breath. And then, I, like, <laughs> I used to always, like, move my feet. So there yeah. I'm, like, doing, I'm, like, the... 
the guy in the Caddyshack thing. <laughs> it was fabulous. Our hearts are with all of these swimmers. Oh, heck and it's, yeah. It's unbelievable to watch them yeah. perform at this high level in this amazing arena. But you still feel it. <laughs> you <laughs> like, do, of you're course. Exhausted. You're exhausted like you swam it, right? Yes. Exactly. I'll tell amazing. you, even that 800. Yes. I was sitting with Caitlin Sandino. Yeah. And both of us were like gasping. <gasps> yeah, the Amy, whole time. I don't know anything about the 800. 50 no. free on sprint. I don't you, know that you, I've, I don't no. know that I or you have raced an 800 in our entire career. Never, never. I That's know. called warm up. But, what was that? What was that? That was it. And even that might be too much. Warm up. Warm up. Yeah, exactly. You don't warm up. No, 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 no. You slap some water on your face. Right. You blow up an inflatable. You're ready yeah. to go to swim the 50. <laughs> That's amazing. <gasps> All right, Colin, yes. I want to say thank you so much thank again. You for Love me. chatting with you. And also, I noted that um, you may need some of these. I've been oh, taking them out and saving the bobby pins you. for your hair. I'm going to fit this right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, that's it. There. That's it. Awesome. I had a little one sticking out. That's why. <laughs> all right, Colin. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate you <laughs> and all of everything you do. Amy, you're the best. You're the best. Thanks. I'll see you later because we've got a special guest. I hate to kick Cullen Jones out. Like, who who do you kick Cullen Jones out for? There's like a few guys, and this guy is one of them. He is the head coach at the University of Georgia. He is just an all-around amazing guy. I know Jack Bowerly is in here somewhere. Jack Bowerly! Okay, well, that was really anticlimactic. Climatic. How do you say? Yes, that word that I can't. Oh, here he comes. He's running up the ramp. Here he comes. Hi, Jack. It's so good to see you. Right there is perfect. Good. good to see you. I should have texted you and, and let you know that we were on in two seconds, but I was busy talking uh, to Cullen okay. Jones. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. It's uh, exhausted. Um, it's every, you know, after the second day, we felt like we were been through a war. So you know how it is. It's, it's an amazing and it's the most emotional meet. Yeah. Even more than the Olympic Games. It's, which is hard to believe. It is. Now, yeah. how do you, because listen, everyone talks about the swimmers' emotions, yeah. but you coaches, you've got a lot invested in yeah. these kids. Yeah. I mean, how do you control your emotions throughout this long meet? Well, you have to be a little bit even keeled because sure. you're going to see everything. And we, we already did. Uh, we're very yeah. fortunate. We have six on the team, but we also had a few, you know, eight 100s. We would have two more. So oh. um, it's uh, so it's an amazing thing in that regard. It's uh, sure. And, uh, you know, your heart breaks and then, it, then all of a sudden you're at the highest high and, and you well know more than anything, this meet is pressurized in a funny way. It, uh, a real good example was a woman's 100 meter backstroke. No one in that final heat really did their best time. Right. And when that happens, that means there's pressure and everyone's thinking about where they are rather than it's hard to do this, but you just have to race. Yes, yep. you do. Yep. Now, I, I can tell you're losing your voice. Yeah, it's been is, a long week. Is it going to be gone tomorrow, you think? Uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll make it through tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Monday might be all right, but we're going to be back in the water on Monday. We have to get some people moving again. So. Okay. Yeah. We, wow. So you're, are you going to go back to Georgia? I'm going to go back to Georgia tomorrow because right. uh, we, we really don't have anything big, big tomorrow. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to, the ones that are back there are 400 IMers, Chase and Jay. Yep. They need to have their little tails in the water as quickly as possible. Right. And we need to get faster before we get to Tokyo. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Are you going to Tokyo? I am. <gasps> and uh, gosh, am I allowed to say that? I guess uh, I, I have a feeling I will be. Okay. I was going to ask, are you taking a vacation in the end of July, perhaps? Yeah, and it might be in the east. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, good. I hope that you guys have a great yeah. vacation. That's awesome. Thanks. Tell me about your kids that are on this team right now. Well, we have a bunch. Uh, we have Jay right off the bat in the first event. We had Chase win the 400 IM. Jay Litterlin got second. And that was actually a repeat of 2016. So it's hard to come five years later. Four is a little bit easier. Five's different. And then um, let's see, we have two breaststrokers also. Okay. And uh, that uh, was pretty good. Yeah, so we have Nick Fink, and we won the 200. Yep. Andrew Wilson, who got second to him, we went, we went 1 2 in the 200. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Andrew, who is uh, a fairly good student, he could read and write a little bit. He just got into, he's getting his master's after he's finished this in engineering. And he applied to two schools, just these little ones, MIT and Oxford. So he's going to Oxford. And, uh, wow. Uh, so where is that? Is that in southern Tennessee? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, that's south Tennessee. It is. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah that's the one yeah. I thought. Yeah. It's a little south of MIT. <laughs> and, uh, 
But anyhow, and then uh, let's see who am I? And then Olivia Smaliga. Yep. And uh, and a really neat swim, which was an inspiring swim for us, was Natalie Hines. And for she, me too. Yeah. Yeah. And she and you can appreciate this. Uh, when she finished school, she was out of the sport. Uh, she was behind a desk, as you know, just yeah. a year and three quarters ago. And she kept calling. She called me, and she called me, and she's and I I really I knew why she was calling. And, and I was trying to decide because we already had a pretty good pro group, and the dynamics are such where you don't really want to mess with it, you know. And uh, so, long story short, I finally uh, she bugged my assistant coach, and I called her, and she's, you know, she's so delightful, she's so eloquent, and and I felt like she was 100% committed. So she went from sitting at a job where she was going a little bit crazy, and now as she she just said. My summer changed a little bit. Now she's going to Tokyo. So, oh so those are the six we have, and we had wow. a couple near misses: Melanie, Margalis in the yeah. 400 IM, and uh, and then Luca also in the right. 200 fly, mm -hmm. and he just got third again tonight in the 100 fly. So mm. uh, we came very close to having eight. One of my former swimmers, Gunner yep. Benz, uh, Gunner, who's been swimming with Eddie for the last year. Uh, he made it, so yep. it's another Georgia dog, and then uh, <laughs> and then Haley Flick uh, Flickinger is, is with Bob Bowman now, yep. and was with me for seven years, I guess. Uh, and Bob and I do very much the same type of work. Eddie does too, so sometimes we have a little trade off. I mean, Chase is with me; he was with Bob. Right. Uh, Flick was with me; he's now she's with you know, <laughs> and uh, so anyhow, it just works out. So we have about, I think all together, about nine Georgia Bulldogs going too. Wow. Yeah. So you're the guy to go to if you need to teach a dog to swim. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. And, uh, but I, you know, you have, we have amazing kids that are, and you know, the commitment part is right. off the map. And, uh, and our pro group, uh, it was, it was hard because yeah. last year, one year at this time, you know, we, we were on hold. Right. And, uh, it was right around about two weeks after this, I told them all to get lost for about 10 days because, okay, you know, it yeah. was because when everything got stopped, you know, and especially when they knew when the Olympics were going to be right. or an Olympic trials, they got it was a little rough on them. Mm -hmm. So we had to take a, about a 10 day break, get a breath and then come back. But after that, we were consistent. And actually, uh, I had a couple of friends in Athens where when it really went bad at first, we had no pools whatsoever. Right. So I had a couple of friends with some pretty nice outdoor pools. Carl Senowitz, Gary Avance, and uh, anyhow, he works with Zaxby's actually. He was okay. one of the <laughs> big guys with Zaxby's and uh, they had two uh, pretty nice pools where we, we did anything we could to make sure we were in water. That's amazing. Yeah. So everyone's out of the water and you're in a backyard swimming pool mm -hmm. doing whatever it is that you can do. Yeah. And I mean, wow. we did underwater work. We did everything. We did. There were 20 meter, 20 yard pools. They were beautiful pools. <laughs> I'm <laughs> but, sure. Yeah. So, but uh, and after that, we did uh, some, you know, cl you know, little neighborhood pools right after that for the remainder of the summer. OK. And uh, because the University of Georgia was shut down for everything. Right. So we couldn't right. get in. So when that loosened up in uh, late August, then we were back in gear. But Good. we didn't lose much. No, you didn't. Yeah, we didn't lose much. No. And, and it was different for everyone. And But, uh, you know, hats off to my guys because uh, they really adjusted. Yeah. No, yeah. They, they did. And you can see that yeah. during this week yeah. that they've really done well. Yeah. Now, you may or may not be taking a vacation at the end of July. Right. Um, and that's the same time as the Olympics. There's a lot of young girls. Yep. Yeah. On, on this, this team. team, what do you feel about that, and how do you get the older kids to play nice, if you will? Well, they'll play nice. Oh, and, well, of course, uh, yeah. And I think you know you've been through it too. Yeah. And uh, actually, I had a couple of young ones of my own when you were swimming too. Right. But uh, in 2000, my my first Olympics was 2000. Right. And uh, but it's exciting when you have young ones because they are just that. They're just fresh. Mm -hmm. And everything's brand new, and all they want to do is race. And we have some terrifically talented young ladies. And uh, but this is when the older swimmers do come into play, mm -hmm. and they have to do they have to big leader, be great leaders, and also s sort of show them there's a time and a place to have your excitement going, and there's a time and a place to make sure you're a little bit low key. Right. And uh, because at that age they can be excited all day long. Yep. I know. Yes. In 96, I was 23. I was put with an Amanda Beard. Beard. I was put with a Brooke Bennett. Oh, I yeah. ended up sleeping with the managers. 
Oh yeah, they they were high energy both. Yeah. Oh yeah, and still are. Yeah, and still <laughs> are. Yeah. So, but uh, you know, we have our we have a challenge this year certainly. I mean, um, you know, Australia has thrown the gauntlet down. That's for right. sure. And uh, so, but I always feel confident in the way we react. And uh, but it's I think we have a nice balance of older women, younger women, and on the other team too. I think we have some pretty darn good young guys too. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, one of my guys I'm going to brag on, Nick Please. Fink. Uh, Nick Fink made the team. He won the 200. He's amazing. It's a beautiful race. Yes. And you know, the hardest thing in, in any sport is to have something traumatic happen that you're that you have to recover from. Right. And that's when you're really challenged. And he was third in the 100, and probably thought he was going to win it. And then he held his, you know, what together and <laughs> brains together and his wits together yeah. and everything else together. And he came back and won the 200 in a beautifully swum race. Yeah. He'll be going off to graduate school, too, for uh, engineering. And uh, actually, he's going to our neighbor school, Georgia Tech over there. I had a rough time for wow. engineering. But uh, so I told him, since that's our big rival, it'd be the last time I speak with him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he is so fun. We had him Isn't up he here. Great? Loved him so much. Yeah, he's, it's he's great. wonderful. He's my go-to guy, too, on the team because he literally loves every sport. His dad was a former executive director of the NBA. Yep. And uh, Peter. and But Nick sort of carries that feel. He loves every sport. I do, too. So before every every practice, we, we do a little baseball, basketball, football, you name it. So, yeah, we, right. have to, we have to get that in. Okay, well, then how about the – you love every sport, as does Nick. How are the tennis games coming along? Oh, my tennis games? Right. <laughs> Mine are all right. <laughs> I'm playing pretty well. I have good. a good group, yeah. And uh, we can't break an egg anymore as far as speed, but I think we can uh, – we know where to hit the ball. You know, so <laughs> we have a good group. I think about – Five out of our ten played Division One. Okay. So you know everybody and the other guys uh, played something in college. So they, wow. it, it's a pretty competitive group, and you know it's it gets competitive. I'm sure yeah. it does. We play three sets, and we switch around so everyone knows who the best guy of the day was. Yeah. Do you play for anything? Money, marbles, just beers? Just pride. Oh, yeah. that's even more just, important. Just pride and. Uh, a lot of good friends, you know, some good. of the, some of whom I've been with for 30, 35 years. Wow, yeah. that's so special. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Now, what advice do you have to someone who wants to come to the University of Georgia and swim? Uh, <clears throat> well, first of all, come prepared. And uh, but we also one thing we're most proud of, I mean, we've we've had 39 NCAA postgraduate scholarship winners yeah. and only seven schools with all their sports have had more than our swim team. So come prepared to do a good job in school too. You knew you were on the um, Olympic team with Christy Kowal. Yes. Uh, she was the NCAA Woman of the Year. Yep. You were on the Olympic team with Kim Black. Yep. She was an NCAA Woman of the Year. Yep. And uh, so we, that part of it is a big deal. Yeah. And, uh, but also I just, you know, I want them to be team oriented. That's how we win national championships. Uh, and that's how we're pretty good all the time. We're proud of the national championships. We're actually more proud of the fact that we're pretty good all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to be consistent. Sure. So you have to find kids that are going to be tough. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, if we haven't talked to you yet, make sure they find us. So we'll, uh, you know, we, we want the best kids we can find, but we want the best kids that uh, feel like they want to be on a really good team and have fun with being on a team. You love to have fun. I've known you yeah. on the pool deck for so yeah. long. <laughs> How much fun do you have every single day on the deck? Well, I have a staff that's incredible, and that that does it. Okay. And that really does it. So we have, they help me tremendously, but we we have a great time. Oh, and good. And right after this, we're going to go out and, and grab something and uh, to eat and uh, because we're going to go our separate ways for a little while here, yeah. recruiting-wise, and then, you know, the, we have kids back there that were not here. Mm. And, and the other kids that have to continue the rest of their summer. Sure. You know, this is an amazing, this meet's a tough meet mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, when you walk around, there are many more sad people than happy people. Right. Because a lot of kids wish they had done more before they got here, after they got here. Yeah. And, uh, but it's, it's just the most highest pressurized meet. You can, and really, when you get to the Olympic Games, it's almost like, you know, cherry on top. Right. Yeah. And then I think the kids actually swim, the athletes, 
uh, swim much more freely. Yes. Yeah. I not, agree with that because yeah. there's not that pressure. And because yeah. you've already made the team. Yeah. And you don't have any pressure to do anything else. Yep. And then you're just racing. Exactly. Yeah. And being an Olympian, Olympian is very special and it lasts a lifetime, as yeah. you well know. And, uh, and it's something that they always hold. So uh, just uh, to have the numbers that we had, to, you know, at this meet is uh, satisfying. Before I left, because, you know, in Athens, you know, I've been there long enough where I know yeah. enough people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, everyone's asking me, well, are you going to put somebody on? You're going to, how many are you going to put on? I said, Here, let me tell you, this is how it goes. If you put one on, you're elated. Uh huh. If you put two on, you're over the top. Anything after that is absolute gravy. So it, it worked out. And as you know, it, it sometimes it works out perfectly. But right. even with this, you know, we just missed a couple more, too. So yeah. and your uh, my heart goes out to those kids. But uh, I think I, I'll tell you that both of them will be back and they'll be on. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Now, yeah. you know, I love you and you know, Thanks. I would never say anything bad about Jed. Never let anybody say anything bad about you. But I got a bone to pick with you. It's about my Philadelphia Eagles or what? Well, yeah. no, I mean, we need to talk about that, actually. That's a hot mess in and of yeah. itself. Good Lord. Are they even going to play in the NFL anymore? Okay, <laughs> oh, you're but it, tough. Anyway, yeah. okay, moving on. You sound like a Philly fan. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of do, don't yeah. I? <laughs> but, uh, so I was talking to Maritza up here uh -huh. earlier. Yep. Broke my American record. I yep. left a lovely voicemail on your voicemail. She said she never heard it. I didn't. I swear, I would have returned that in a heartbeat. Oh, you didn't get it. Well, maybe no. I don't know. Maybe I screwed up. No, but at, when she went twenty-one six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So then it's not you. I have a bone to pick with. No, it's the phone company. It's it's Verizon. No, it's not. No, it's not Verizon. Of course not, because I still have Verizon. And it works perfectly. Oh, you, of course, but, uh, yeah. I think. Uh, no, I never got oh, that. Oh, that's too bad. I would have been honored to have that call. Oh, bummer, man. Yeah. I really thought that it you was you. You know how all that happened. She uh, she swam the 500, right. usually on that day. She came to me her junior year and finally said, if I can go a time at conference that would score at NCAs in the 50, will you let me swim it at NCAA championships? So, because she had won the 50, the 100, the 200, the 500, and the mile at the SEC championships. Wow. The, the only person ever to do it. And I said, sure, we'll make that deal. <laughs> and the reason I made the deal was because I needed her fresh for the 200 free relay. Gotcha. All right. And uh, so anyhow, and uh, when she came out of the 200 free relay, going into a 500 was awful. Yeah. And then she had time for the 50. Anyhow, she did it. And then so the first time she swam the 50 at NCAA championships, boom, American record, 21.6. In a short suit. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was amazing. And mm -hmm. you are amazing. And I cannot thank you enough for coming up here and chatting Thanks, with Sam. me. It's great to see you. And I'll tell you what, I would have returned that message and been honored because uh, I, I watched you enough. And, I, I, you know, you're the t type of athlete that you didn't want your athlete to race. And that's the best oh, compliment I could give you. Thank you. Yep. That does mean a lot. So, and congrats to the Broncos still. I, I know it's a long ways away from where it was, but it heck, is. you had one sort of recent though with Manning, yeah, which is yeah. nice. Not yeah. too bad. I, yeah. And your husband was the punter, wasn't he? He was the punter. Yeah. 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 So he didn't like to get hit very often. Well, when he got smart. hit, everyone knew it. Oh, absolutely. They yeah. did. Yeah. They, that's a tough position because sure. basically it's either really good or bad. Yeah. You don't read about him in the paper unless it was no. really bad. No. So, yeah. Especially the guy that's snapping the ball. That's not a good thing. That's either. not a good yeah. one either. No, bless his heart. <laughs> Jack, you are Thanks, a rock star. Anne. I have fun on your vacation. I will. I'm excited you get to take one. Yeah. It's well deserved. Yep. And congrats on all the guys and girls on the team yeah thanks a lot there thank you i'm excited to get them going and uh we just need to get prepared for the next go you got yep. it you'll you'll get you'll get them ready yeah time shine oh right. so good thanks, to see you Amy. jack bowerly university right, of georgia head men's and women's coach thank you so much my pleasure we've got more swimming to do so good. let's go ahead and i'm going to take a look at what we got tomorrow we got three races we got the men's 50 free we've got the women's 50 free Woo -hoo -hoo! and we've got the men's mile that is all tomorrow Make sure, you guys, that you join us before those finals on Splash On Deck and then come here right after we crown all of those Olympians for the last session presented by Golden Road Brewing. And I'll tell you what, it will actually be the last session. All right, everybody, live from Omaha. Thank you so much. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.